Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and what we'll be doing today is we'll be creating a Christmas ornament to continue with our Christmas series. So let's dive right into it. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is use a circle. So let's go to our circle tool here and in the layer type I have my first layer type selected. Now this um, doesn't matter but we're going to work with the first layer type. So I'm just going to left click and drag like so to create the base of my ornament. I'm just gonna move this down a bit like here. Now the color doesn't really matter because we'll be applying a gradient onto it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So select your gradient tool and in the layer type, make sure that you have the linear gradient option selected and just left click and drag from the top down or the bottom up to apply your gradient. Now with, the, with both layers selected, I'm going to place these in a group and I'm going to go into that group, select my gradient and I'm going to go to the blend method and I'm going to place that onto my circle there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to go to the gradient here and select this swatch here. I'm going to change this to some like maybe a bright red like so. I'm going to copy this color code by pressing Ctrl C click on this swatch here, this small icon here. I'm going to paste the color code here so we have the same color. But for this color swatch, I'm going to make it a bit darker. So I'm just going to drag this circle here into the dark red area like so. And let me just click on close. And I'm going to just ad adjust the gradient here. So what I'm trying to achieve is I'm trying to get the top part to be, to be uh, bright and the bottom part to be a bit dark. So something like something like this. Okay, so that is looking okay to me. Now, uh, next thing that I'm going to do is add some highlights. So let me actually, let, yeah, let me actually close that group. And just rename this, call it ball. And I'm going to select my circle again. Just left click and drag to create my circle. And I am going to change the color of this circle to maybe a red again. So I'm just going to sample this color here. But I think I'm going to go for a much more brighter uh, color, a brighter red like, like this. Click on close. And it's not looking like much. So what we need to do is we need to add a bit of feather to this. So with that layer selected, I'm going to come over into my properties here. And I'm going to change the feather to maybe 40. And uh, let me click on that and see what that, that looks like. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. So I'm just going to duplicate that circle. And move that one down here. Make it a bit smaller. And just sort of play around with it to see what we have. Uh, I think I'm going to change this one to maybe... Let me change the feather to 60. And see how that looks. Okay, so we leave it that way. I'm liking the way this looks. And uh, yeah, so let me group the both. Of, actually, let me place the both of these into this group here. Let me just cut them and just place them inside here like so. And uh, what this could use a bit of noise. So if you've observed Christmas ornaments before, some of them have a bit of noise texture. So we'll try to get that that same look and feel for our ornament here. Now to achieve that, we'll need to add a noise gradient. So I'm just going to right click my layers panel here, new layer, gradients, and click on noise gradient. Now this is way too big, all right? So I'm not liking this. So in its properties, we just need to change the size to maybe a two. So enter two for the X and two for the Y, press enter. And now it's really, really small. So that's looking good. And I'm going to place the both of these into a group. And let me open that group, select my noise gradient here. And I know what you're thinking. We are going to apply this onto our circle there. But if we should apply it onto the circle, look what happens. It looks very, very flat. So we're going to select a different option. We're going to go with the multiply option. And that will blend our noise texture onto our, our circle. Really, really nice. So if we zoom in, you can see the noise texture onto our object. Now it's looking 
even more shiny right and more refined so i'm really really liking this and uh what would make this look even really more refined is if we add a another highlight to maybe the edge so i'm just going to close this up use my spline tool and i'm just going to add a curve somewhere out here like so i'm just close this loop or right, close this the spline like that now it gave me an outline i don't want that so i'm just going to right click and click on make region and i'm going to delete the outline now i'm going to let me see here da -da -da -da. i'm going to place both of these into a group and i am going to let me rename this highlight before i do anything else try G -H -L -I -G -H -T. so i'm going to select my my spline here and go to the blend method and place this onto our circle there and that is looking nice but let me change this to a similar color like this highlight here all right and we can see that and actually i'm going to make it a bit brighter so let me come all the way out here click on close and look at that that is looking lovely but it could look even more amazing because this technically looks flat right so if we click on the the highlight there and change the feather to maybe let me start with 40 we see it's blending really nicely on the edge there look at that that looks really really awesome so let me just group well it's already i think i placed all of these in a group and that's not what i wanted let me actually cut the ball layer out of that group paste it here so we have the highlights separate from the group layer there let me just regroup these of course i'll have to do this over so let me uh, take this put this back to composite and i'm going to place this onto our object there now you could have left it the way i had it before but for some reason i just decided to separate them but anyway it's okay all right we have our highlight and that's all that um that matters now the last thing that we need is the top part of our ornament here so i'm just going to select my rectangle tool here and uh, i'm going to go to the first layer type here let me turn off that one just to drag it like so select my rectangle i'm going to move this all the way up to the top there let me see what that looks like okay and that is looking good to me so i'm going to place this into its own group i'm going to call this um ball top you know i'm, I'm sure you can come up with a better name and i'm going to select that rectangle there and i'm going to go to my gradients tool and i'm going to go from the left to right here and add a linear gradient and i'm going to place that onto my rectangle there i'm going to change the color i like silver so i'm going to change this to a dark gray and i'm going to select my second swatch here i'm going to bring this into the middle like so i'm going to right click this area and click on insert color stop and for this one i'm going to darken it a bit like so and i'm going to click on close and I'm, ju I'm just going to alter the gradient from here like so okay so that is looking really really awesome let me actually go back into this make this one a bit more dark like so and actually we can continue adding more and more swatches to make this look even better than it is now let me move this up let me add just one more color stop here and make this a bit brighter move this over close and let me just play around with it here okay so i'm liking that that looks that looks somewhat three-dimensional all right so the last thing that we need to do is to ha add a hook to the top of the this area right here so I'm just going to select my circle tool here, left click and drag, select the circle, move it over. Let me scale that down a bit and move it down to here. All right. So I'm just going to put this into the center right here and I'm going to duplicate this circle and I'm going to scale the duplicated one down a bit, right? To get that, um, that thick border there. And for this, I'm going to place the both of these into their own groups. 
and I'm going to go into that group, select the small circle here, and I'm going to change the blend method to alpha over so we can get that nice cut. And uh, we want to make this silver like this part here. So a quick and easy way to do that is to copy the gradient layer from the this, um, this group here. So I'm just going to control C, close that, open this up and go above my circle here, control V. And there we have a nice gradient going on here. All right. So this is the hook. Let me rename that. It's always good to name your, your layers appropriately especially when you have a ton of layers, just so that when you go back, you can easily find what you're looking for. So let me just zoom out here. And there we have a nice Christmas ornament. And to wrap this all up, I'm just gonna add a bit of shadow. So let me add a floor first. And I'm gonna change this to maybe a dark color like so. And I am going to change the feather option here. So let me change this to 40. Well, oh, should should have done it on the Y. So let me change this to 40, uh, maybe 80. And I'm going to lower the opacity to maybe 0.8, like so. All right, so now we have our ball here. I'm just gonna group all of these into one. Okay, let me just rename this to ornament. So that we know that that encompasses all of this and I'm going to uh, create a reflection. So a quick and easy way to do that is just to duplicate the layer. Uh, let me rename this to reflection R R E F L E C T I O N, and I'm just going to use my control points here to reflect it down, move this down. I'm just going to bring it all the way down to the, the very base of the uh the ornament here like so and that is looking really really nice and i'm going to select my rectangle tool again and what i want to do is cut a bit of this area here so with my rectangle um created i am just going to place both the rectangle and the reflection into their own group select the rectangle go to our composite here place it go to alpha over to cut that and of course i'm going to um, now the reason why you're seeing two feathers here and we saw it for the the floor as well is because the the layer type that i selected it's based on the layer type okay so depending on which one of the rectangle layer type you select you'll either see two feathers uh, and this one separates the x and the y or you'll see one feather okay uh so for this one it's the feather y so i'm going to changes to 60 and that is looking fine to me and of course now I'm going to close the reflection group let me just call this REFL so that I know that that's a reflection and I'm going to lower the opacity to maybe a 0.4 or maybe 0.3 yes and that is looking really really good to me look at that that is looking awesome so we can do something with this we can group the reflection and the ornament and just duplicate by the way I'm, I'm just having a bit of fun here right uh we already know how to create the ornament but i'm just having fun right now so i'm just going to create two additional ornaments here at various sizes just to add a bit of depth to our scene here so i'm going to move this one down and there we have it the Christmas ornament. This looks really, really good. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one.